end of the week. I guarantee you. In case you forget your promise, remember our contract. If you don't finish it, you lose half your royalty. Oh, don't worry about that. I won't want to lose half my royalty. By the way, Mr. Watson, are you sure you want me to take out that joke on page 10? It's a big laugh. They're yucked in spring. Which one was this? You know, it was this wonderful. You know, well, my mother was helping me with my homework when I was a kid, and she said to me, where does milk come from? And I said, cows. And she said, where does cream come from? And I said, cows. Then she said, where does butter come from? And I said, butterflies. <laughs> No, elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. It's out. It's out. Uh, Mr. Watson, uh, uh, will you do me a favor? Give Mr. Watson an envelope okay. of the manuscript. Everything will be fine. Thank you. Hiya, fellas. Gee, I know you guys from somewhere. Your faces look very familiar. Where do I know you guys from? Oh, I remember the act. Somersault and more. <laughs> what can I do? We thought you could use us in the fryer show tomorrow night. <laughs> this is great, great. Never do it at all. We'll do a routine together. Step inside, we'll work it out. Come inside, everything will be... Oh, that's the bit I'm going to do with you. When you jump on... This is ridiculous. Excuse me, ridiculous. Excuse me, Mr. Burrow, would you do me a big favor? Yeah, sure. When I told my kids I was working next door to Milton Burrow, they made me promise to get your picture autographed. Fine. Oh, great. Gee, where'd you get this one? This is a wonderful... How did you get in here? I came up in a cement bucket. Could be floors? It was a cinch. The crane operator swung me over to Mr. Burrell's terrace and I hopped out. Incredible. The young man, come here. To whom shall I make it out? To Billy. To Billy. Yes, Estelle, Dave, uh, Lawrence, Frankie, Eleanor, Bruce. I'll just make it out to Billy and the gang. Hey, I did, man. Oh, gee, thanks, Mr. Burrell. Do you mind if the other fellows drop in for your autograph? Anytime you want, young man. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I have to run off. I, my cement bucket is double parked. <laughs> the cement bucket is double parked? <laughs> you build the buildings. I'll tell the jokes. The <laughs> jokes I've ever heard. Got that down, Miss Trent. <laughs> no, you'll never get that. Pages done. One man bands, acrobats, sand on promise. I promise this is the last interruption. You're don't worry about a thing. I will promise. <laughs> with you is you can't say no to anybody. Mr. Burrell. Oh, you're wrong, Mr. Watson. I can say no any time that I want to say no, I can say no. Mr. Burrell, I'm Lucy McGillicuddy. I'm sorry. I just loved your book, Earthquake. I'm afraid not. Since you're such a great author, I Mr. can't do it. I can't do it. I'd just love for you to autograph. Uh, no, absolutely no. <laughs> See what I mean? I said no, didn't I? Oh, thank you, Mr. Burrell. Thank you. Oh, I just loved your book. I thought it was wonderful. You're very sweet. So powerful, you. tense, and artistic. <laughs> Powerful, tense, artistic? Yes, P-T-A. P-T-A. Uh, yes, which reminds me, we're having a little P-T-A benefit oh, Friday night. Milton, the only way you'll ever meet this deadline is to hide out someplace. Now, maybe you're right. Well, how about my place? Is up in the country, away from things? With your mother-in-law there all the time? Yakety, yakety, yak. Remember what happened to Ernest Hemingway the last time? Three days at your house, and he fled to Cuba. <laughs> Where you go, so long as it's secluded and you won't be bothered. It's kind of an idea. I could stay at my mother-in-law's house. She hasn't spoken to me in three years. Oh. Milton, you've got to get away from all your friends and relatives. Please, I don't mean to butt in, but I have a house in Westport. Yes, madam, I'm sure it's lovely. Uh, yes, it is, and, and you could work up there every day. Well, thank you, young lady, but I'm sorry. I couldn't impose upon you. Oh, you wouldn't be imposing at all. You could work up there every day and nobody would ever know. Thank you very much, but it's it's out of the question. Thank Wait you, a minute, Milton. What? Mrs. McGillicuddy may have something. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can't accept your offer. She's a total stranger. But that's just the point. Because she is a total stranger, no one will be able to find you and bother you. That's true. That's true. That is true. Look, I, I, I'd have to pay you for the rental of your house. Oh, Mr. Burrell, I couldn't accept your money. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a deal. Oh, wonderful. Well, I've got to run. Thank you so much. Oh, it's right, all right. Girl, don't you forget, we've got a deadline. Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll finish it. I'll, I'll also call you on the phone unless you know where to get in touch with me. Fine, but be sure I'm the only one. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Gee, young lady, I can't understand why you're being so kind and so generous. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's really quite simple. You see, uh, I am a, a patron of the arts. Oh, really? Yes, yes. 
and, and whatever benefits the great author benefits me. Uh, and uh, speaking of benefits, there is a teensy-weensy little benefit at my little boy's school Friday night, and I was so hoping you could appear. <laughs> you know, that's the sneakiest offer I had since Lindy promised to name a sandwich after me if I gave it my table near the door. Ah! <laughs> you do it? Say, if I can eat standing up at Lindy's window, I can surely do your benefit. Oh, thank you. If I finish my book in time. Well, you can start working there tomorrow from 10 to 5. My husband's gone from 9.30 to 5.30. Good, good. I'll give you the address. Look, look, look. Not a soul must know. Not, not, not even Mr. McGillicuddy. 